Okay guys, it's time to do the cradle. For those of you who've been following the Let's Play, this is the build up to the penultimate level. There's one more after this one. Uh, and for those of you who are just watching this because of uh, the video name, I hope you enjoy it because there's going to be two videos, I think hopefully two videos, one of each side of the cradle, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fucking horrible. Let's go. Why do I do these things? Why? The Shale Bridge Cradle. It used to be an insane asylum, and before that, it was an orphanage. One night a fire started, no one knows how, and after that, they left the place abandoned. If there's a way to cram more misery into one building's history, I can't think of it. I'm here to learn about the old woman who attacked me in the Keeper compound. Drept said he saw the hag here at the orphanage long ago, when his childhood friend was murdered. He's never dared to come back. But I don't think I have much choice. It's a thin lead, but it's all I have left. I've never robbed an orphanage before, and I can't say I'm looking forward to this visit. There's no telling what I'll find inside. I'm used to the dark, but this feels like a house with bad dreams. Wonderful. We're going to play our next, but... Uh, goals. Search for more information about the hag. Wonderful. We have limited gear, you got 20 water arrows, got some holy water, got 13 flash bombs. Should be enough for now. <sighs> the first section doesn't actually have any enemies, I don't think, but it's still scary as fuck. So, let's get going. I mean it with, like, no sense of exaggeration that this is the scariest experience I've ever had in a video game, and I am really not looking forward to playing this again. I just am not. It's just horrible. I, I, I can't put into words just how horrible this game is, this, this level is. If you haven't been following this Let's Play, by the way, and just watching this level, go back and watch some of the rest of it, because it's fucking awesome. It's a shame this is my least popular series at the moment, because it is undoubtedly one of the best games ever made, and one of the most overlooked. Much better than all that fucking popular shit you get at the moment, I fucking tell you that. Anyway, let's um, have a look around. I can't remember what the fuck to do, so we're going to have a look around the building first. Okay, I unfortunately remember what I have to do now. We're going down. So yeah, we are going to look around the first area of the cradle. We're going to have a great time. It was better before. There are too many rules to remember. Don't go here. Don't touch that. Don't talk to the patients. The doctors are just as scary as the patients. Ms. Arthur says orphans shouldn't complain. So this place was an orphanage and an insane asylum. Which is great, because I can't think of any two places I'd rather a building not be. Can you guys hear that? There are kids crying. Just in the distance, nothing too over the top. There are fucking kids crying. The important thing for me here is not to go through to the second area yet. I'll be in another video where I will be scared even more than I am at the moment. An apple. I didn't want to have my picture painted but I was too scared to say no. I guess I did it right because he said I sat good and still. Lovely. It's like children's notes I guess. This is like the orphanage section. Shut up. Shut up! I mean, this place is pretty huge. Um, if you look at the map, I mean, it's it's not good. This is this whole scenario is not good under any circumstances. I don't really know which way I should look first. There there is loot here, but not a lot in this section. I think most of it's in the fucking shithole second section, which is a billion times worse. Those footsteps weren't mine. Those footsteps were not my fucking footsteps. Hello? Hello? Oh, I got a fuse for a generator. That's good. That's great. She looks 
Familiar. It's that Keeper Translator girl. But that can't be. This portrait must be as old as the building. I can hear you breathing. Oh, shut up! Nobody here in the cradle does that anymore. How did you get in? My name is Laurel. Something changed when you saw my picture. That's why you can hear me now. I want to leave here, but I can't. The cradle won't let any of us go. Will you help me? They filled up a bottle with my blood. It's down in the storm cellar. It's very dark down there. Please find the bottle and drop it into a drain pipe so it will end up outside. It's important. Okay, so we have to save this little girl's soul and she's gonna help us. Because there's some of you haven't guessed, she's the hag's victim. Uh, Inspector Drept was talking about. Um, find a few years and years to repair the generator in the storm cellar. So yeah, this first section is nowhere near as bad as it gets, but I'm pretty... It's pretty weird, and this is weird. This is the picture of Gamal, the uh, other interpreter girl, and it's in the orphanage. But Gamal still looks like that now, even though this picture is really fucking old. Which uh, weirds me out quite considerably. I don't know about you guys, but I'd be pretty fucking weirded out by this. Shut up. Shut up! Uh, I'm not quite sure if this is worth reading, but if you want to read it, please do so. It's like, like, like treatments for the insane and shit, like you often get in games like this. Shut up! I'm fucking trying to sneak around a fucking orphanage here and... Oh, this is not nice. There's like fire sounds from the fire, even though there's no fire. Lovely. Dr. Ranka, we all agree that lobotomizing several of the most violent cases may solve our uprising problem. Your silver surgical kit is already in the lobotomy theatre, awaiting your arrival. Several of the other physicians will be observing today, so that we can increase the number of procedures performed in the very near future. As you suggested, sometimes more can be learned from surgery performed incorrectly, so we'll keep the training to a minimum. I had a chance to look over your surgical kit. Custom made, eh? Must be quite valuable. Don't let the patients know it's silver. He's sure to go missing. Okay, so that's like a rare loot item I need to find somewhere, roughly. I hope I find quite a bit of loot in this section, because the next section is going to be uh, Hell on Earth, and I don't really want to go there at all. Shut up. You should shut the fuck up now. You shut the fuck up, and leave me the fuck alone. Alright, so this is the main door I would have come through if I could have come through the main door. Gotta find a way down to the fucking basement though. Uh, storm cellar up to staff tower. We've been up to the attic, so we need to go to the staff tower and the storm cellar. Just a question of how to fucking do that, because I don't know, because I can't remember. <sighs> that didn't work. Maybe there's a fuse box in the basement. I hope so. I hope so, Garrett. I really hope so. But why do we have to go down to the fucking basement? Why can't we just have a fucking good time elsewhere, huh? Why? Why, Garrett? That's all I'm asking is why. Why can't there be more loot? I mean, I've been here already, haven't I? Yep. God, just... The anticipation for what's coming. Um, I just can't put into words how bad the second section is. Um, this is nice and tame, it just sets the scene and it's fine, but maybe this isn't fine actually, this is quite unnerving. K-1 
Case number six, F Topper, patient history. Entry one, brought in by City Watch Hysterical, carries a note that contains the ashes of what authorities think might be her own infant, refers to self as mama. Topper could prove a difficult case to cure, Dr. Sandbridge. Entry two, efforts to make the infant ashes away are always met with some self-destructive behavior. For now, we see no harm in allowing subject to carry them with her during a weekly walk in the exercise yard. Inform Dr. Haskell I approve the use of the experimental heat therapy. Lovely, well she's probably fucked, isn't she, let's be honest. This one must be hers. It's still warm. Great. Great. Well, that's the blood vial. The little girl wanted me to find. Lovely. More importantly, I need the... That's the cage where they used to put the new patients until a cell opened up. You should stay out of there, or the cradle might see you and try to keep you here forever. I'm gonna go in. Oh, it's fine. Nothing to fucking worry about. Don't worry about it. It's just a cage, or whatever your name is. Laura, Lauren, Laurel, Larry. If your name's Larry, I might be a bit upset, actually. It's a bit of an unusual name for a little girl. But hey, you may have had cruel parents, or insane parents, perhaps, you know? So where the fuck is the generator? Presumably it's this way. Generator? Generator, where are you? This is probably the generator. Oh, fuck shit. Oh, God, why do I... Oh. Now I can even be seen by stuff easier. Entry 1. Admitted to hospital for observation and treatment by her family. Completely unresponsive to questions or the presence of others. Due to her sensitive age, she's recommended placed under Dr. Sandbridge's expert care. Told the family today the subject will never be well enough to return home. As proof, I showed them my cell, which of course is grotesquely outfitted in the same way as the murder scene. I believe on some level they were relieved. Entry 3. The board decided to allow her to continue visits to the balcony with her birdhouse. Lovely. Lovely. Some really, obviously really sick people were here. Oh, shut the fuck up! There are sh Okay, just so I tell you now, in the next section there are these fucking zombie things that that are like patients, or like the, the fucking, I don't know what they are, wardens or something, and they, they, when they touch you, they take you back in time, and it's really weird, and it's horrible, and really confusing, and it's shit. That's the technical term. Hang on, I, I don't want to do this. Oh god, I just did this again. Michelle gets lost, she gets lost all the time. Ba 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 ba. Okay. That's going to open, but before I do this, let's uh, have a look around here. There should be a pipe, apparently, I could put this in somewhere. That's good. The bottle is outside now, where the cradle can't see it. I have to get rid of all my things. The cradle uses them to remember me. That's how it keeps me here. There's a ward here called Whitehall where they kept the very bad patients. One of them took my nightgown back to his cell. It's still there. Please get my nightgown and then burn it up in the morgue. Okay, so that's in the next section. Yeah, the morgue, okay. I want to go to the staff tower though, because I've got a feeling there's some PHAT loots there. But I need to work out how the fuck to get there first, which could uh, prove to be challenging in itself. Well, this is the attic again, isn't it? I'll just double check this theory. Shut up! I need a dead and everything, but fucking hell, chill the fuck out, Laura. Okay? Just chill out. We'll sort it out. We'll do it. Okay, don't worry. So, Gamal is clearly linked to something that's going on. And I know some of you know, but I'm playing dumb, so I don't spoil it for other people. So please, don't spoil it for other people. I'm completely at a loss. Of oh, hang on. Hang on. This is new. This is new. Stu, I got the whole thing worked out. First date, no need for you to worry. I found a real bag hiding place with a bag of gold teeth. It's really hard to find anywhere. It's in the morgue. That's another loot. And ain't nobody goes there unless they have to, or they's dead. Know what I mean? 
I figure a couple more days, a week tops, and I'll have yanked enough gold teeth from those poor dead loonies to buy us something really fancy. You just have to do your part, which is to find us a buyer, the kind that don't ask too many questions. I mean, you can just walk into any old place and sell a bunch of gold teeth. Don't let me down, Desmond. Desmond is a wheeler dealer type. Not getting a lot of loot here at all. Wish I knew where I was. Or what was going on. Okay. Let's uh, pick this luck. More loot. Awesome. Anything else there? No. These pillows look pretty valuable if you ask me. Don't they, Garrett? Yes! Okay. Um, I guess there's nothing else in this section here, probably. That's walled off. This isn't the tower that I'm looking for. These aren't the towers you're looking for. Okay, so this is where, uh, back in the lobby again. Okay, it was him. Hmm. Where do I go is the question. It's that age-old question. I'll be right back, guys, when I find out where I should probably go to look for more stuff. Okay, we're gonna go this way and see if the tower's over in this direction. Yeah, it is, okay. <sighs> this is where it's gonna get really bad going through that. We're gonna leave that for a second and come up here. That's the staff tower. Nobody is allowed up there. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be going anywhere up there either, to be honest with you. Fucking hell. I wanna go and play at the staff tower, but you'll be amazing, you know? It'll be properly amazing. Any loots down here? I'm sure there was loot up there, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Any loot? No! But you look a bit like loot. I'm not! Okay. Fuck! <sighs> Why are there two signs? Just to reinforce this is the staff tower. And, uh, yeah. I guess we're gonna have to, uh, yeah, um, be right back, guys. So here we are in the inner cradle, where stealth is gonna be a much more important thing because we are not fucking alone here. We are very much not alone. <sighs> Probably gonna end the video soon because I've already done the first bit, but we'll have a little look around. If you see lights starting to flash, that's usually a bad fucking sign. I'm gonna just make sure I've got flash bombs on, on easy use. Oh god. Just knowing what's in here, and not being able to remember exactly what I'm doing, puts me on edge more than anything else I've ever done. And you guys haven't even seen it yet. And yet I've been shitting myself. Gonna have another look up here. Everywhere is fucking dangerous here. where the girl was allowed to keep a bird cage, I guess, or some shit. Why would I be why would I come up here? There's nothing up here. Oh god, can you hear that guys? This building wants us to fucking die. It wants our souls. The video's gonna end here. But next time I'm gonna get the guts up to uh, deal with the uh, the time shifting undead that are right below, and uh, is that it? You loot? No. Okay. Fuckers. Shut up. Well, if you shut up, be more thief deadly shadows to come, and we're gonna go into the really fucking scary bit of the cradle. I'll see you then. Bye for now.